In this video, I'm going to show you how I import my survey data into ArcMap. Uh, so survey data, when you export it from the Trimble, is going to be in a CSV file. Um, and if you remember, the when you import into AutoCAD, you always have to select the data is PNEZD is the file format. And that is listing that it is point number northern, easting, elevation, and description. That's what that PNEZD stands for. And that'll be really important to remember when we're importing those points into ArcMap. So first thing we're, do, we're going to do is we're going to bring in the CSV file. So I'm going to go up here to add data. So now that we're in add data, we're going to select the folder that our survey data is connected to. So you can do uh, folder connections. So you can add a, a folder connection uh, through your descriptions here. Is this the connect to folder icon? Um, so for me, I already have my desktop and my documents as connected folders. So once I'm there, I'm going to go into for me, my training videos folder, and I'm going to go find my survey. So this is my survey that I took on August 6th, and it is in a CSV file. So I'm going to select that survey, and I'm going to click Add. So now all it did is it added a table of our survey data. Now if we wanted to, we could um, view this table. So we could go to Open and open the table. But for me, I want to bring those points in to my map. So I'm going to right click on the survey and I'm going to click display XY data. So now this is where you remember I said we need to remember the PNEZD. That means that first field is point name, second field is northing, which would be Y. The third field is easting which is X because we're going east to west. Z is elevation, which would be field four. And D for description is going to be field five. So we don't need that here. All we need is northing, easting, and elevation. And then we need to set the coordinate system. So right now it's unknown. We're going to click edit. We're going to go to a projected coordinate system state plane and this is based off of the coordinate system you took your survey in in this state we take our surveys in state plane coordinate system we're going to use nad 83 so nad 1983 us feet right here to open that up and we're going to go find new mexico and this survey was taken in new mexico east we're going to click OK and OK. So here's my survey. If I want to make sure that this survey is in the right spot, for me, I uh, don't connect to any of the um, maps that you guys use for toolkit and um, CD. I use the online base maps. Um, it's just quick and easy for me. I don't spend that much time in ArcMap. But you would add whatever type of base map you normally use. I use the online one, so I'm going to go to Add Base Map. And I'm just going to bring back, bring in imagery behind it just to check my survey points. And I'm going to click Add. So after a little bit, the uh, base map shows up here, and usually I get this uh, geographic coordinate systems warning. It's basically letting me know that the world imagery that I'm bringing behind my points are in a different coordinate system than the one I selected for my points. And that just means that I might have alignment or accuracy problems. Usually uh, our projected coordinate system is that we selected for our points is uh, very accurate. Um, and most of the time we're just using these points as a general reference for measuring and things like that. We're not 
using it to align to the actual base map. So for this, I'm just going to click close. And here you'll see my survey um, as well as the field in the background. So yeah, that's what I do um, to bring in my points into ArcMap. You can also now export these points as a shape file if you needed to. You can basically do anything that you would with your regular GPS points. Okay. If you have any questions, please reach out to us. Thank